All right, so I'm here in the parking lot. I don't know why I'm whispering, but we're gonna pull up on the moose. He thinks food's coming, but it's me. I'm actually kind of nervous to fool the old guy, but here we go. Did somebody order food? Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? Get your tight moose, stick your arm up. Look at the guy there. You're making fun of me, huh? Yeah. Hey! Ow! <laughs> here for breakfast, we're going with the hotel breakfast. <laughs> All right, here we go. Very special episode of About That Life. I'm off to New York to take my dad to a baseball game. I do it every year. I recently quit my job so I could take care of the important things in life. My dad's one of those things. If you think Tommy Boy's a character, wait till you meet this savage. The moose is out of control. We have him back in an assisted living community in New York because the world can't handle him right now. I'm gonna bust him out. We're gonna have a good time this weekend. I'm a little late. I gotta go to the bathroom. But for right now, off to New York. All right, so the moose doesn't know I'm coming. I'm in the rental car here in New York. I do not miss New York at all. It's chaos. So we're gonna give him a call and set him up because he goes to dinner at four o'clock and I wanna take him out. So I'm gonna lie to him a little bit. So let's call him here. What's up? What are you doing, Moose? I'm waiting for a phone call from Vassar Hospital. Yeah, you dying? No, I got to uh, make arrangements to stop the uh, eloquence yep. before I do yep. my uh, procedure, my endoscopy. Hey, I can't talk too long. Um, uh, I ordered you some, some food coming at 4 o'clock today. Okay. I got you some barbecue chicken wings, some wedge fries, you know, everything you like. So okay. I'll give you a shout when they're close. They should come right to your door. Well, I'll catch them at the front at the lobby. Okay. Well, either way, I'll keep you updated, but I got to run. I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff. So um, okay. I, ju I just wanted to set you up so you didn't know, so you didn't go to dinner. Okay. All right, brother. Well, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for a phone call from Vassar Hospital. Yeah, yeah. So that makes it easy. yeah we, we, heard all, we already heard about your Vassar Hospital. I think you'll survive. Yeah. You're gonna survive? Yeah. Yeah. You'll yep. survive. All right, brother. Thank you for the food. Yep, see ya. All right. Did somebody order food? Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing? Aren't you happy to see me? Yeah, you <laughs> caught me by surprise, man. Oh, up, man? What are you doing here? Where are we right now, Dad? <laughs> Tell everybody where we are. <laughs> We're at the Manor at Woodside. Manor at Woodside. Independent yeah. living for seniors. Independent living, huh? Hell yeah. Looks more like a prison to me. Nah, no, it's, it's got a hotel style place. Hotel style. Yeah. Look at there it is. Hey. Here it is. A half a bedroom apartment. A half bedroom. Here we go. Got doors open. This place is like a where the magic happens. I, uh, I kind of keep the windows open here. Keep everything ventilated. East 233rd, the Bronx. Your boy used to live there. Holla. Holla at the BX. Right off that exit. The boogie down. Alright, it's Saturday morning. What are we doing, Moose? Tell everybody what we're doing. Down there for a little breakfast. Oh, breakfast? What are you gonna have? Pancakes. Why are we here for breakfast? What was wrong with the hotel breakfast? 
Incompetent. <laughs> incompetent. It was an incompetent breakfast. It's like you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go eat. We had to self-provide ourselves with breakfast. By right, going to a diner? That makes no sense. They're that's providing right. the food. Makes sense. All right, we're out. We're getting served here. What time at Redline? <laughs> is that the new advertisement? Yep. Breakfast time at Redline? That's it. You ask me why I'm here. Do you know why I'm here? No. You don't know why I'm here. It's because of me. I'm telling I'm here to tell you I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. I'm pregnant, <laughs> I'm pregnant with Cheeto babies. <laughs> Where do we go every summer? We go to Stony Kill Farms. Where else do we go? Every summer. I don't know where we go every summer. You don't know? No, I forgot. What season is it? Baseball season. Where do we go every summer? Baseball park. Where are we going tonight? I don't know. Are we going to a ball game tonight? We're going to the Mets Nationals game tonight. We are? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, I'm not kicking the ass here today. Surprise. <laughs> so we're going to the Mets National game and we're going to the restaurant you like in the baseball stadium. Oh, yeah. The clubhouse. Yes. Are you excited? Buffet. Are you excited? Oh yeah, salami, cheese. You're not excited about the baseball game? You're excited well, 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 food first. <laughs> <laughs> so he's excited about the salami and cheese. So we're going to the Mets game tonight. We go every year. Yes. And that's, since I quit my job, I have enough time to take you. I wouldn't have had time to take you. Right, that's you. right, you're right. Now stop kicking my feet. Oh. All right. Tell we're proceeding down Route 9 to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. My son came out from California to pick me up. California? Huh? Where do I live? Oh, oh Denver. Oh, the same. I, I, what I, state's Denver in? Colorado. Colorado. Oh, we're headed from Buffalo Wild Wings here. We're going to have some wings oh. and beer. And, yeah, Peter Ball, what's up, man? And of course, check the waitresses out. We've got to do that. <laughs> that goes along with the program. If I can get him to turn in the right room. All right, we got uh, Team Moose reporting from City Field. Give us the update. What's going well, on tonight? City Field, going to see the Washington Nationals play the um, New York Mets and Center Gardens pitching for the New York Mets. Who's going to win? New York Mets all the way. All right. All right, so we're down at the seats. We're going to watch the game and we're going to get you an update at the end. Moose, you ready? All right. Ready, ready to go. We're at the field level here enjoying the game tonight. The first inning was very bad. They got two runs. <laughs> now we have to recover them. Runs down. All right. The next inning or two. Moose on field reporter. Here we go. Right now we're in the ninth inning. Yep. The Mets just went ahead by yep. a run, four to three. Oh, by the base hit with that JD Davis. It was a sack fly. But anyway, <laughs> hanging on for the Mets win. All right, we're going to get the Moose's post-game report from here at City Field. What happened, Moose? Well, uh, the Mets won, come from behind to win another game today. I yep. dominated the buffet. Yeah, you did. And Bobby is the loser. What? I'm a loser? You're a loser. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. All right, we're out. Be nice to me. Apple pie a la mode. Mm. Why don't you give everybody your statistics, Dad? My statistics? Mm -hmm. What do you always tell me? Your what? What? I don't know. And you don't know what you are? No. Oh, 185 pounds of romping, stomping shit. <laughs> I can back it up too. All right, Moose, why don't you tell everybody where we are? Yeah, we're at Stony Kill Farm. It's a New York State conservation farm mm -hmm. that's operated on, uh, run by inmates here. And they have the organic gardens here where people can rent all the gardens they want. It's a community garden. Yeah, and uh, it involves a lot of the community of Fishkill here in the area. And olden, uh, Didn't you grow up on a farm? Yeah, I grew up on a farm. Did you milk the chickens? No, but I milked a hell of a lot of cows. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer, Moose. Fed, fed a lot of cows. Can't catch you. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, we're done talking thing. about the farm. Uh, I'm not taught done talking. <laughs> so, Say goodbye, know. Dad. Goodbye. Talk to you later. <laughs> what do we got here, Moose? Well, we got a black Angus that's raised for beef primarily. 
Yeah. But here at the farm, they use them for the instructing the young kids on animal life. Do they let them ride the cow? No, you can't ride a cow. Okay. That don't work. <laughs> They'll just buck you off and carry do you, on. Do you want to go try to ride the cow? No, no, I ride no cows, man. I'll wrestle a cow, but not ride them. <laughs> All right, Moose, so it's my last night here. I head back in the morning. We just went out to have pizza with my brother and Alex. We had a great time. What'd you think about the trip? The trip was outstanding. It was a big surprise when he came to visit me. Big surprise. What and else? we had a good time together. We spent, went out a couple of nights, went to a ball game. Yep, everybody saw this. Right. And uh, we did uh, other things besides that, such as? I can't remember what we did now. <laughs> Are you freezing up because of the cameras? Yeah. Are you camera shy all of a sudden? Oh, we went shopping and we went shopping stuff today. Like that. We did. We got moose some new socks. Yeah, new socks. We got some stuff new sneakers. like that. Sneakers. I gave him a new pair right. of sneakers. He treated me to dinner a couple of times. And you, know. you bought me dinner as well. Right. It was very yeah. nice. Yeah, you yeah. we had a good we had a good time. It was a big surprise, an big enjoyable surprise. surprise. At my age, I live at the manor here. And when he popped in, I was uh, sort of stunned a little bit. I didn't know what to say. Okay. So, and that was, uh, and then we finished up tonight mm -hmm. with an outing. Yep. And we took a slow, slow trip to some small towns and yep. enjoyed ourselves and just relaxed here. The weather was outstanding, okay. so he, which he enjoyed very much, and I enjoyed too. Yep. So, we had a nice. What did you learn on this trip, Moose? Did you learn anything? I can't learn too much in these days. <laughs> <laughs> you learn pretty much everything. Yeah. All right, so, so we're gonna sign out from my trip to New York to see my dad here. We had a great time. It's always good catching up with the moose. We'll there see you the moose go. in a couple months in Colorado, right, buddy? Right. Yep. Yeah, well, no, about four weeks. All right. Well, oh, moose will be yeah. out in Colorado for more moose madness. So. What's today? Yeah, it'll be about four weeks. I'll be right. out there. Well, say goodbye to everybody. So long, everybody, and have a good night. Peace. Peace. So I'm here at LaGuardia wrapping up the trip. Lessons learned on this one is nothing new, something I learned a long time ago. Take care of the people who take care of you. Lost my mom when I was a kid. My dad always took care of me. My dad was older, so I made a conscious decision when I was younger to take care of him no matter what. I moved away and I felt guilty about that, but what it's afforded me is the opportunity to show him different things, but also come back and take him to do cool things like I did this weekend. It was a quick weekend, but it was well worth it. We had a great time. Got to see my brother, who also shares these same thoughts and feelings around my dad, who does a great job looking after him. Always take care of the people who take care of you. Brothers, sisters, friends, your dad, your grandparents. Take care of the people who take care of you. About that life, about to hop on a plane, back to Colorado.